Viviana and today I am sick. Yeah, you can hear it? I sound a little nasally, don't I? This is why I don't eat cheese right before bed because then it acts up my sinus and then I wake up sick. So after this, I'm gonna take a shot of white rum because you know rum is the answer. So yeah. I'm here today to talk about my hair color. Have you guys noticed? I mean, it's not that obvious, but I honestly did not intend to do this video, but after seeing all the comments I was getting on my puff progress, I was like, okay, y'all actually want me to talk about this hair color. Actually, you guys are expecting a tutorial, and I am sorry, but there is none. <laughs> I already posted a tutorial of me coloring my hair the last time, the first time around, and I'll be sure to link that up in the iCards. But yeah, I'd already told you guys in that last video that I wasn't pleased with the color. It wasn't exactly what I was going for. Um, so I was going to redye my hair. Now, is this what I wanted? Let's just say I love this a lot better, alright? I honestly don't even know what is it I was really going for um, and that is why I didn't film it the second time around because uh, I didn't want to film it and then it didn't turn out how I wanted it again and then it would be like okay guys it didn't turn out the way I wanted it again this time but next time folks you know I thought it would have been pointless because the second time around I was just doing a thing, all right? <laughs> you remember the video that I had my hair in those um, mini twists? And then I had a next video after that with my hair in twist out. And it was the keeping it real day. Oh, my Vicks Vapor Rubber Rant. That was the twist out result of the mini twist that I had in the video right before that. Yeah. <laughs> so from that twist out, I used those little pre-sections from the twist out and I street just the same way with the bleach and my volume 40 developer I also went and bought a volume 20 developer and uh, yeah I used that and I bleached a few random strands of hair just as I was showed in the previous video it's just that because my hair was already in a twist out and it was already kind of pre-sectioned it was a lot neater Trust me, all right? I didn't have um, dye all over the place. My hair wasn't getting mixed up with the bleach. So that would be one of my biggest tips to you guys if you intend to highlight your own hair at home. Try working from mini twist or from a twist out. And I ensured to comb out the hair so that the bleach could get on every single strand. Yeah, I really should have filmed it. Damn it. So I tied in the streaks, right? And uh, I had allowed it to process for about 50 minutes to get it really, really light. It was a lot lighter than I had it in the last video, all right? It was almost blonde, but not dry, crispy, my hair is about to break off blonde, all right? Um, yeah. <laughs> so I tried to keep the integrity of my hair intact. But after I already bleached the strands, I just wasn't fully satisfied so I used my same peroxide and uh, bleaching powder mix and then I put it all over my hair yeah I was just like okay I do not want to do this all over again I do not want to be displeased with the results again so if I'm gonna do this might as well just go all out. So after adding the streaks to my hair, I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to add the bleach all over my hair. Like, it was about three inches away from my scalp and I just ran it through with my fingertips. And with my fingertips, <laughs> I just ran the bleach mixture through with my fingers and uh, yeah, I allowed all of my hair all the ends of my hair to process for another 40 minutes and for that part it was a guessing game too I I just kept watching the color 
all right and when it got to like a, a light brown color I said all right let me go wash out my hair and just like my last video I shampooed my hair with my creamy aloe shampoo by Aura S it's a neutralizing shampoo and then I went in and I deep conditioned before I added the color onto my hair for the last video I had added the color right after shampooing the bleach out of my hair but because my hair was in that mini twist out my hair was a bit tangled and I knew that to put the color in my hair without having full access to every strand of my hair and being able to properly rate the color through my hair it would have been terrible it would most likely be pitchy patchy so I made the decision that right after shampooing my hair with my neutralizing shampoo I then went in with my light protein deep conditioner and I used the Shea Moisture JBCO deep conditioner and I went through my deep conditioning routine just the same as I always do section my hair in four put my deep conditioner in and thoroughly detangle my hair that deep conditioner is usually like top notch for me but I did realize that after rinsing out that deep conditioner, my hair still felt a bit dry. I was like, oh crap. Oh shit. I really ruined my hair, didn't I? The deed was already done, so I proceeded to then add the color on top of my already lightened hair. That was a mistake I made in the first video. I moved straight from out of the shower after shampooing my hair, and my hair was still dripping wet with water. And then I added the color on top of my hair not expecting it to drip all over me with the color and being extremely messy but I learned my lesson and I towel dried my hair before adding my color on top of my naked hair and that worked a whole lot better like that was hardly any mess and uh, yeah my bathroom didn't look like a crime scene afterwards so yeah <laughs> oh the color that I used it was pretty much the same colors that I used from the last video I had leftover color I think I went out and bought a purple red dye yeah I think I bought that in addition I don't really remember okay um but it was was it was pretty much the same thing I should have taken a picture of the bottles I already threw it away but it was about three or four different it was about four different reds and purples um, mixed all together um, yeah but now that all of that is done I'm going to try and find like a set color from a brand with an actual just burgundy on it or purple red yeah I don't always want to just be mixing mixing up and be totally surprised by the color that it ends up being so I want to share with you guys my new hair regimen but that's for a different video because this is already very long but before I end the video I want to show you guys one thing that really helps me out alright so as I told you guys after I deep conditioned my hair the first week after um, doing the bleaching process and everything my hair was a bit dry all right it wasn't like dry crispy my hair was going to break off kind of dry but it was drier than what I'm used to all right so um last weekend or this weekend yeah <laughs> this weekend it was this weekend I just washed my hair two days ago I had shampooed my hair with a self-efficient pool it was the main choice um, lemonade shampoo and then I went in with one of my favorite deep conditioners the Shea Moisture High Porosity Moisture Seal Mask. I was reminded why I love this deep conditioner so freaking much. After I put it through my hair and I comb it through just as I always do for my deep conditioning routine, my hair wasn't getting as soft as I am it normally does. And I was like, oh crap, I really, really did fully damage my hair, didn't I? Crap, 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 crap. How am I gonna fix this? <laughs> um, but child, after allowing this deep conditioner to sit on my hair, my hair was buttery soft, buttery soft, buttery soft. <laughs> I was like, yes, this is a sign from God. I am not going to have a terrible setback. This is not the end of my hair journey. I did not totally damage my hair. And uh, yes. <sighs> This is 
is what Aqua Deep Conditioner can do for your hair, guys. I'm telling you, all right? So, since my hair is now colored and a lot more sensitive to dryness, that makes sense? Yeah, and my hair is a lot more prone to being dry, I am going to have to be very careful with the deep conditioners that I experiment with. So, yeah, I'll be on top of my hair routine and uh, I'll be sure to give a updated hair routine video soon. All right, beauties, that is it. I, I'm sorry for not filming it. Okay, I just, I just didn't want to film crap. Okay, and I was just trying a thing. All right. So even though the results came out really lovely, I did not know it was going to turn out this good. All right, I didn't know, so I didn't film it. But. Yeah, I hope I did a really good job in explaining what I did. If you have any questions about my hair right now and the color and anything like that, be sure to leave it down in the comment section and I'll be sure to address it in a upcoming video or just answer it depending on how easy the question is to answer, okay? Um, but yeah. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet decided whether or not you want to subscribe, I'll be sure to have some more of my videos up in the icons so you can explore and watch a few other videos before you make up your mind that you want to subscribe, okay? I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. Not like I am far away from it. So if you like my content, be sure to subscribe. Okay, beauties. Later. Mwah. Blah. And just a very few of them, I mean, a very few of them, I actually really like. As a matter of fact, because one, it's cheap, two, it's a lot gentler on your hair than using a nylon stocking or a cotton shoelace. And three, when you use a satin ribbon, you get to control the amount of